your body is banging, baby, I love the way you're flown it. Time to give it to daddy, sugar, now tell me how you want it. And we'll come back to say less. <laughs> I needed to light up, like, what a light up there. Anyways, how you doing? I'm DJ King Shot. Welcome to this um, dope, dope part. You know, we get to talk to artists, of course, none other than the beautiful I am, Keisha K here. Had your little funny set, you know what I'm saying? I was tick. I almost pulled it twice because you was funny. You know what? You know what I'm saying? You know you're funny if you got a whole gas. That is not even You did that. Thing. You did that That's there. Not- you hear me? But we move on to this <laughs> section right here. Um, this is the artist section that we really love, the feedback. Now we got a dope artist. Right here to the, I don't know which way, this is my left, you're right. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm saying, um, I met this artist um, at a Who's Really Lit event, I think. I think that was the first time we met each other, right? Probably. I know he was. I was like, dang, Jim Carrey doing um, music now. Look at Jim. You know, Jim Carrey and Guy from Street Fighter. Remember, I, saw, I thought that's what he was. I didn't know he was. But he had the whole look, everything. He went up there, he did mm-hmm. his thing. So we got him here today. Everybody make some noise, please, for Jared Taker. Come on, give him <laughs> No, no, so we're going to do something, something different. I'm going to have him do a song first, because you know what I mean? He already ready, got the glasses, hair mm-hmm. up, you know what I mean? He got, the, he got the moose in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he is ready, so I want y'all to receive him. Turn up for him one time. Dre, take go and do your thing, man, and we're going to holler at you when you're done. Y'all make some noise, come on. Take her everyone. I don't know. 
know, I just was on that wish. Listen, man. that was this way. I was through a penny out there. You know, <laughs> that was the wrong wish well. That's the where, yeah, that the wrong, wrong one. Not that right well. Man, first of all, man, it's always good to have you, man. It's good to see you every time, man. It's always love, man. Good same, to same. be here on today. <laughs> so let the people know, you know what I'm saying, your real name and how long you've been doing music. So I'm Jeremy Goodwin. Um, also go by Jaretaker Hawks, Silent G, pronounced with H, double X, G A U X X, so Jaretaker Hawks, that's my stage name, my wrestling name. I I'm a multi occupationist, American musician, entrepreneur, content creator, wrestler, medical worker, model, etc. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like I said, when, I, when somebody calls me a rapper, I do be like, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I do a lot more than that, <laughs> a whole lot more than that. As you can tell, that song was like singing, so, you know. There's, there's a lot, but um, I'm from Buffalo, New York. I've been doing music now for about seven years. Everything I've been doing for quite a while, it's starting to get to the point where nothing's new anymore. Um, I've, I've, I've been in a lot for a while. So like content creation, 11 plus years, business and marketing and whatnot, four years, um, e-commerce, three three years. Okay. Um, I do a little bit of everything. Multi-occupation multi is five years for medical. Have you ever tried sleeping? Um, I, I've been trying to get to that point, but you know, I know I'm, I'm, I'm like in the that. process right. of hiring, so I can do that. Now, okay. Like you're wrestling with sleep. Listen, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, man. I'll remove. I get it. I mean, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's what's up, man. So, question for you. So, what what inspired you to get into music? So, there's a few things. Um, one artist being Fetty Wap. I, I listened to, uh, when, when first Fetty Wap became uh, popular, um, he, he released the song uh, Trap Queen. And for some reason, it just caught me off guard. That was almost like the beginning of like almost like a trap era, mm -hmm. which was like I was I, I was caught off guard by it because I didn't even know what trap meant, you know. So mm -hmm. I I started you know looking into it a little bit more. I started listening to more of his music. I started really liking it and whatnot because it was mm -hmm. different. And I was like, you know what? That'd be pretty cool if I you know started making music or something like that. You know, he's he he caught me off guard. I could catch my audience off guard too, oh, okay. you know. And then another thing was the platform musically, which is now uh, TikTok. So uh, musically, you know, I would lip sync, you know, other artists' songs and whatnot, and I was just, you know, that's what musically was. You would basically lip sync or dance songs and whatnot, and um, it, it was very different. I kind of liked it. It was a different that I liked, and I, um, I, I, I did it quite frequently. Got kind of decent, you know, number of people checking me out on there, and then I was like, you know, how cool it would be one day to drop a song and have people, you know, dancing or uh, lip syncing to my yeah. songs and whatnot, but. Uh, Sadly, you know, that's not as popular now on TikTok, but, you know. I like hey. it, man. man. <laughs> yeah, give it up for him. All right, so let me ask you, okay, so where does your name come from? I mean, like your stage name. What made you the Jared the Tech? I Yo, originally, name, yeah, so <laughs> originally Jared Taker was my wrestling name, and I, I kept it with music and content and et cetera. Um, but it, Jer, Jeremy is my name, so I got the Jer from uh, Jeremy. A lot of people called me Jer, you know, teachers, everything like that. You know, as growing up, I was just, you know, people like, hey, hey, Jer, you know. So I got, I took Jer, and then I would, my main go to move when it came to wrestling was uh, slamming. I'm not like a super big person or anything like that. I'm also, you know, not, I wasn't the person to do chokeholds too much back in the day. So okay. I, the main thing was I tried to pick people up and slam. I was strong, you know, I've always been, you know, athletic. I've been, you know, you know cut cut look basically like that my whole life. So the thing was my main thing that I could actually pull off was being able to be lift, weight, and be able to slam it. And honestly, for most people, I don't know if you've ever been slammed before, but it don't feel good. Yeah, so it, it works when it comes to wrestling. And I me. wasn't I wasn't the strongest <laughs> when it came to I wasn't the strongest when it came to chokehold. So you know I always used what you know what I could use and that was right. the slam. I started to get better with the chokehold over the years of doing wrestling and whatnot. So now I'm better with choke chokehold submissions and with slamming, but slamming is my go to move. So I was always taking people down, so I got the you know taker added on to Jared. And Jared Taker, it is. So, it is. Yeah, man, you can have no girlfriend choke slam and all this stuff. Like, man, no moves can work, brother. Um, but yeah, okay, so. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay, so, where do you see yourself musically in five years? And is music your last go? Because you said you do a lot of things, you named them. Yep. Is music what you plan on doing? Is that your end retirement? Or this is kind of just a segue into something else? I don't see me ever retiring. That's the, to be honest, I just don't see it happening. The goals okay. that I have, they're too extravagant and big that most people are like, they don't even see it realistic. Mm. So, my, like, I don't even make public most of my goals. I just do stuff. You know what I'm saying? I let people, you know, I let it be up for interpretation. You know what I'm saying? But I... Uh, a lot of my goals, they, they most most people would take a lifetime accomplishing them. So it, it's just not possible. And more, it might even take longer than a lifetime if I don't play my cards right. So the thing is, I don't see me retiring. Um, have I had some obstacles that made me think maybe I would have to retire at some point? Yes. The thing is, um, music is now 
been one of the biggest things that you know keeps me going through all my stuff i've been through a lot of different you know you know occupations and careers and different things that i've been doing you know all sorts of different endeavors business etc i've been doing so much that i've realized music was the only thing that i've really loved doing you know every day right. so it's just like i there's certain things I, I you know i wake up and i'm like i don't really feel like doing it so it's like is that really for me then if i don't feel like doing it no mm. i don't want to work at something i feel like i don't you know I'm not happy doing every single day. Like I want to do something I can be happy with doing every single day. Right. My only obstacle as of right now was time and money. I'm starting to fix the the money issue, mm -hmm. and now it's becoming just time. Okay. So if I could get things going faster, which is why I'm hiring, get a team going, get things going more you know, efficiently, and uh, keep it, you know, still good quality content and whatnot, uh, good music and whatnot. I, I I don't like to you know settle. I don't mm -hmm. like to settle. Don't like to settle for anything. You know what I'm saying? If, if it's possible, I could do it. You know? And I, I live by that every single day. I don't care how hard it is. Things may be difficult, but there is no such thing as too hard. It's, that's just my opinion. And I think, you know, if, if you really think about it, it makes sense. That's it. So, yeah, absolutely. Like that. That's what I'm, I say. The only thing I can't do is what I don't do. So. Exactly. Well, I think that, uh, and that you said a lot, especially the, um, like, you're just not quitting. Mm -hmm. I think that's the message to anybody that is also watching and listening. Like you can't quit, and you got to dream big, and you exactly. got to have the, the 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 willpower to not give up. I got a song it's, coming it's, out it's, called Willpower. So look at that, man. Look at that. I'm <laughs> prophetical. You ain't even know. <laughs> Jared Taker, you ain't know, cuz. But, yeah, like, I think that's really it, because in this music game, it's, it's, it's a lot of politics. Oh, yeah. um, it is a lot of um, who you know. And you have to a lot of times be confident in who you are and, and willing to stand mm -hmm. on it because there's um, there are going to be people with money who's going to say, "Hey, if you do this, man, you look like this. Try this." And you're like, oh, yeah. "Nah, I got to stick to it." All. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, me too. So I, I respect you for staying to you know what I'm saying who you are, the ground foundation, bro. Never lose that, man. I won't. I so won't. you got this song called Home. You're going to do it for us, man. Let us know of about course. Home. So um, Home is. It's, it's, it's a mix of a few things. I collaborated with a Russian pop artist that is now from, in California, um, Tony Iggy. And what's really cool about uh, this song is it, it, it's different. It's, yeah. it's like a mix between pop and hip hop. But the thing with this is the hook is strictly pop. There's no hip hop to this hook. The, the, the instrumental, the vocals, everything. It's strictly pop. The only thing that makes it even slightly hip hop is my verses. But now, as you as you've seen, I, I I do pop as myself. You know, I just mm -hmm. I just perform "Wish Me Well." Mm -hmm. But uh, this this song is this pretty cool. It's it the song name is "Home," and the reason why it's named "Home" is because I'm basically talking about the time when you you you, you set your eyes on the girl that you really want and whatnot, and you want to do whatever it takes to bring her home. You know what I'm saying? Like so, man. Well, listen, man, I and mean, we thank you for coming, man. Appreciate, I appreciate it. I make some noise me. one more time as he perform. Give it up for Jerry Tech, please. <laughs> DC City Productions. So far to go now. We're thinking about where we've been and how far we have to go now. Yeah. Oh, will you be my home? Away from home now. I need illumination. Who's to say we live through today? Let's make a memory. Last for a century. Need to see you into me. Spend a little energy. Little black dress, cute, stack like a chimney. Go low, go, keep it up, no dose. When something hit a twist, let them hit twist. Stop playing, step your body back. Our pictures of a thousand words, we need to conversate. You attract everything magnetic, lightning. From a distance, you got a sniper, and I was just struck. Are we talking truth? Cause we got the passion. Everybody wants you, so I'ma make you mine. In all the hot spots, Wi-Fi, internet, dining, wine, find dining experience. Try and drive, I can't fight the vibe. We need to be alone. Let's make it get happen so we can reach our destiny. Tingles in our stomachs, when I'm with you, I feel the fire vibe.
better put you in the spot Heard you like the handy lot Since I like my girl hot I can get anyone but I want you Only need one so I cop you And there ain't really much that I won't do Other dudes stare but I don't care Rip up and stare the dance floor out here Back room, fast room, slip in the back room Hand on my tattoo, just wanna tap you You the hottest thing that I've ever seen And I don't think things that I don't mean Get some respect, treat her like a queen Skirts, crops, lots of shots Better show out, and I'm just trying to fly Jackpot, hot shot, better not be a hot thought But I'll take chances like playing nerd No you teasing with hips that curve When we dance, I like to observe Gazing in angel as hot as a wing At the end of the night, I can't remember a thing It up, man. Can let people know where they can find you on your social media. I know you got music out there, man. Of course, of course. All, where you at? So I'm basically on all platforms. If I'm not on it, I will hopefully be soon. You know, let me know if I'm not on something. I'll get on it. <laughs> but you look up Jer Taker on basically everything. J E R T A K E R. My productions is EC City Productions. That's where all my music production and all that stuff comes through. I do um, have some artists that are signing to EC City Productions as well. So, uh, you know, look out for them soon. So, uh, as long as you stay, you know, watching my moves and everything like that, you're going to see you're gonna see some of the other great artists. And I'm going I'm to let you know, they're, they, there's some amazing artists that, that are, you know, in this city and uh, other cities and whatnot. And I'm going to make them shine just, just as I'm making myself shine. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, yeah, just look up Jared Taker, J E R T A K E R, and basically on everything. All right. Listen, I just think it's cool how if you flip your head, you still look cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, listen, we thank you all so much. Uh, one more time, make some noise for Jared Taker, please. Woo! Yeah. Hey, you want to be an artist, you want to get on, come holler at us. You know, as so we talk to artists, we show you love, play your music, let you perform in, we get our feedback as we see it, all right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to leave you with this. Stop talking, you know what I mean? Say less. We out of here. Gang. Yeah. What? Good job, <laughs> I love the way you activate your hips and push your ass out Got a brother rolling this so bad I'm about to pass out Wanna dig you? And I can't even lie about it Baby, just alleviate your clothes, I'm the fly about it Catch you at the club, your hips have got me feeling Body talking quick to me, but I can't comprehend the meaning Now if you wanna roll with me